everyone, it's Maddie. I just got here to work tonight. Um, I usually work the night shifts up here at this new shop that I'm at, which in another video I will pretty much go through the whole shop preview and uh, hopefully you guys get to meet some of the artists here, meet the owner and all that. Um, so while I'm putting on my face, I'm going to show you guys a clip of me tattooing this kid's head super big gnarly thing on the side of his head and what I use aftercare wise for him to take care of his head tattoo. This is something that I used on myself first and something that I'm going to recommend to all my clients so I made sure to get a couple big rolls of this stuff so that everyone I tattoo can use this to heal their tattoos. Also after the clip when we come back and my face is on and everything I have something that it's a bit of a surprise, I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, but I found a guy that was able to make this for me and he was able to make it relatively cheap and he was able to do it more in the spooky, gothy style. But as a fantasy nerd, this is something that I've always wanted to get. So I'll see you guys in a little bit after this clip is done. Alright man, you ready to take a look at it? Yeah. Yeah? Alright. Dude, that's so sick. It really is. I didn't even get that close. Yeah, you like it? Yeah. Cool man, glad you dig it. You're gonna like the aftercare that I'm about to use even more. Alright man, so this is gonna be the aftercare. It's called Saniderm. Saniderm is going to be kind of like a second skin that's gonna go on top of your tattoo. The second skin has little micro holes inside of it, so it's going to let your tattoo, you know, your wound, breathe. So, normally, your body is going to have lymphatic fluid that's going to be coming out of your body. Uh, depending on how much lymphatic fluid you have and how much it gets to dry is going to be how deep and how gnarly the scab is going to be. So that's why they say when you're taking care of a tattoo, you want to clean it off and you want to keep it as moist as possible. But the problem with the creams and all the other stuff is sometimes it clogs your pores and your tattoo's not able to breathe. So what this is going to do is it's going to act like a second skin. 
it's waterproof you can just go about your day like everything's normal and you're gonna keep this on for around four to five days so your entire healing process you're gonna have this on and you don't have to touch your tattoo you don't have to mess with it and it's gonna make sure that everything heals nice and solid and nothing is going to fall out it does get a little difficult so I suggest scratching your skin like where it would have peeled up and it'll kind of just naturally come off a lot easier and also you know you can sleep like normal I mean your tattoo is not even gonna feel sore that is like the best part of it I made sure that before I offered this product to my clients that I uh, got tattooed last week tried and it. I yeah I tested it out on myself and my arm healed super black, healed super easy. This one? Yeah. I noticed that one wasn't here. But yeah, so it's nice and clear so people can see the tattoo. And it just, uh, you can even put an ice pack on top of it because it protects the skin. I hope you guys enjoyed that clip of me tattooing a regular client of mine. He's a really cool dude. We always have a lot of good conversation. And I was really surprised how well he took that head tattoo. Because I would think the head tattoos were pretty gnarly. But when people ask me in the comments, I'm getting a tattoo in this spot on a scale of 1 to 10, how bad does it hurt? And it's always hard to answer that question because everyone handles the tattoo pain differently. Sometimes you're going to go into it thinking, man, this is going to be like the worst spot ever. And it ends up not even being that bad. It's really about how well you prepare yourself mentally to get tattooed and how calm you can stay while you're in pain. So realistically, going into a tattoo, don't think about how painful it's gonna be. Just make sure that you stay calm and you stay confident. And what you should really be thinking about is what you're getting on your body and how stoked you're gonna be once it's on there. So now as you can see, like magic, I now have my face done and I am ready for work. But before I get out there to the front and go meet up with some clients, I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Now, I'll give you a second to guess what I got. Anyone out there that knows me will know what I already have because I've already put it on Facebook and Instagram. But for all of you out there, remember it's fantasy related and I had to have a guy make it for me. So. I'm gonna go and get it on and then I'll be right back to show you guys what it looks like. If you guessed black metal gothic armor, you are correct. I am so stoked to have this. I might wear it when I tattoo for probably like the next week, but I'll definitely be wearing this to Renfest. If I should wear this for every single video that I do, leave it down in the comments below and let me know because I will totally wear this all the time. I am absolutely in love with this armor. And it was extremely difficult to find a vegan friendly guy to make me some armor. All right, everyone, I gotta get to work now. Thanks for sticking around and checking out the cool armor. I'm glad that we could share in the awesomeness that is the armor. And next video, I'm definitely going to be giving some shout outs because a lot of you have been giving some really nice feedback to the channel and a lot of positivity that's been pretty much getting me to keep this going and keep making videos. So I really appreciate all the comments down below and all the compliments that I get. So I'll see you guys in the next video.